Okay, so we want to look at how to solve a problem with a Venn diagram, and this is just the second section of it. If this is your first time on this channel, please subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so that anytime we post a video, you'll be the first person to get it. So let's quickly move on. Now, okay, so the question says I've um, underlined the important ones here. There are 30 students in the class, 20 of them play football, 16 play hockey, and 16 play volley. 9 play all the 3 games, 15 play football and volley, 11 play football and hockey, while 10 play hockey and volley. And the question is, we should illustrate this information on the Venn diagram. So, let's um, quickly write something here. So, we have um, the total number of students in the class is 30. So, the number which is the universal asset is just 30 okay then we have um, the number of students who play football being 20 we also have um, the number of students who play hockey to be 16 the number of students who play volley to be 16 also and also we have the number of students who play football, hockey, and volley to be nine. Okay. Now we also have um the number of students who play football and volley to be fifteen. Number of students who play football and hockey to be eleven. The number of students who play hockey and volley to be 10 okay so basically that's the information that's the information we're given the question is if we should illustrate the information the venn diagram so let's quickly sketch the venn diagram okay so we have Third circle here, second circle here, and the third circle here. So we have um, the universal here. We have the universal here. The number of students who play football to be 20. The number of students who play hockey to be 16. And also the number of students who play volley to be 16. Okay, so. We have um, the all three games to be nine, so we have nine here. Okay. Now we have football and volley, football and volley, football and hockey, and um, hockey and volley. But before we um, we are able to put them in their various places, we must subtract the number of students who play all the three games from. Um, football and volley football and hockey and foot and hockey and volley so quickly 15 minus 9 15 minus 9 is just um, 6 so yes 6 so we have um, football and volley football and volley to the 6 and we have um, 11 minus 9 here to be 2 so it has football and hockey so we have two here. We have um, hockey and volley, which is 10 minus 9, which is 1. Okay. Now, we don't know the number of students who study football only, hockey, who, who play football only, hockey only, and volleyball only. So um, let's um, represent them with a variable. So let's say A here, B here, and C here. Okay. So. Um, so one thing you should take note is that when we sum the whole circle, it should be equal to this. When I sum this circle, it should be equal to this. And sum this whole circle, it should be equal to this. So let's uh, sum there and see what we'll get. Okay, so quickly let's sum them. So we have the first one. So let's see. The first circle, the first circle. So 
our first circle being um, 20 here equal to a plus 2 plus 9 plus 6 so we have 20 here equal to okay. 9 plus 2 is just um, 11 11 plus 6 is just 17 so we group like terms 20 minus 17 equal to a therefore we have 3 equal to a therefore a is equal to 3 let's look at the second circle we have 16 here equal to b plus 2 plus 9 plus 1 16 here will be equal to 2 plus 9 is just 11 plus 1 is just 12 so we group like terms 12 so we have 4 here equal to b so b here is equal to 4 okay let's look at our third circle so our third circle our third third circle here we have um 16 here equal to c plus 6 plus 9 plus 1 so we have c plus 6 plus 9 plus 1 16 here will be equal to 6 plus 9 is just um, 15 plus 1 is just 16 so we have 16 here plus equal to c plus 16 so 16 minus so this is equal to is equal to so 16 minus 16 is equal to c therefore we have 0 equal to c c is equal to 0 so basically that's what we have for a b and c so let's do the diagram again so i'm just sketching this whole thing again so we have our universal um our three circle okay so we have um as it is here you know the number of football here is just 20 the number of hockey is just 16 the number of volley is just 16 we have um, nine year we have two year we have one year we have six now so for a and we know a from here we know a is just three so we just put three here and it's true because when we sum six plus nine which is 15 plus two which is 17 plus three which is 20 so it's correct now let's look at b b here is just um, no one here. so b is four so we place four here as b so we have two plus nine which is um, 11 plus 1, 12 plus 4, 16. So it's equal to the 16, 16 over here. Then we sum this place is a 0. So either we can leave it, we can leave it without writing anything here. So we have 6 plus 9, which is 15 plus 1, which is 16. So basically, this is what we have now. Um, back to our question back to the question back to the question now it says using the Venn diagram we should find the number of students who play at least two games so um, we have um, at least two games our B here at least two games so at least two games is just summing the intersection part which is uh, football and hockey which is two so we have um, our number of football and hockey then we sum um, hockey and volleyball so we have number of so sorry, hockey and volleyball and finally we have football and volley so we can have number of football and volley so therefore football and hockey football and hockey which is football here and hockey here is just two so we have um, two here 
then we have Oki. Oki and Oki and Volley. Sorry, Oki and Volley. So Oki and Volley is just one plus. We have um, football and volley, which is six. six. So, you know, two plus one is three plus six is just nine. So, basically, we have nine students. We have nine students. That's our answer. So, at least two games is just nine. And the B passes, we should, um, we should find what is the probability that a student chosen at random from the class does not play any of the three games so we have our probability here being so then um, now before before that we have to find number of students who does not play any of the three games any of the three games and back to our um, our diagram here now when i sum the numbers in the whole circle it should be equal to the total number of student, uh, students in the who play the game the total number of students in the class so we have 3 plus 2 which is 5 5 plus 4 which is 9 9 plus 9 which is 18 18 plus 1 which is 19 and 19 plus 6 which is 25 so we have a total of 25 and by the total number of students in the class is just 30 but when we sum 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 9 plus 6 plus 1 is equal to 25 but the total number of students in a class is just 30 so basically the number of students who did not play any of the three games is just having 30 here which is a total number of students minus what we have here which is equal to 5 so we can put we can represent it here so basically 5 Five is the number of students who did not play any of the three games. So, so since we know the number of students who um, does not play any of the three games, we know that one to be five. So, and we know from probability, probability is just the number of students does not play does not play any of the three games then divided by the total number of students in a class so we have a total number of students here so basically we have five here divided by the total number of students is just 30 so we have one over six being our probability so um, basically that's all that's all we have in um, so that's all for what we have and it makes sense also so basically that's all we have so thank you for um watching this video and i hope to see you next time please subscribe like comment and share with your friends thank you very much Bye.